Hello, I'm AJ Atkins. I work for uh, Mike Starkey, Starkey Farms here in Brownsburg, Indiana. Um, today we're looking at a uh, Starkey Farms John Deere 1770 NT. Uh, it's a 16 row, 40 foot planter. Um, we're specifically going to be looking at how we have this planter set up for cover crops, uh, how we have it set up for no-till, and how we've kind of evolved through the years. Um, so this planter set up for, uh, as you can see, we, we pulled off the, the John Deere airbags. Uh, we've got it set up with the Dawn, the RFX uh, down pressure system. This is the second year for it. Uh, last year we installed it and manually controlled the RFX. Uh, so what that meant was I had it set up on all 16 rows. I used the precision weight pin that was on it. Um, put a precision weight pin, all of that the weight pin was doing was going to my field view, my iPad and the cab. I was using that data, uh, the numbers there, to tweak the row unit down pressure as I went through the field. I was hoping it would be something where I could kind of set it one field and forget it, maybe tweak it two or three times. What I found was with the hydraulic down pressure that my hand did not leave that control knob. I was constantly going back and forth every knob. I was putting more down pressure. Uh, when I was coming off the knob, I was backing it off. Uh, but what it told me was um, within a three, 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 after about three seconds um, switch on that knob, it would show on the iPad uh, that I had already done something. So that told me that it was responsive, a lot more responsive than the pneumatic system that I had before, which was the goal in the first place. I want my hydraulic down pressure changing almost every soil type. Um, and what we saw with the pneumatics was it just wasn't, it could exhaust the pressure as fast as it wanted to, but it took too long to build the pressure back up. By the time I got to where the pressure I wanted to be, I was already in another soil. Uh, so that was the reason for going to the, the hydraulic down pressure. This past season, uh, 2014 planting season, we switched to kept the Dawn RFX system, but added the Dawn RFX Plus system. Um, so I don't know if you can see on the second row is actually the RFX Plus. What that means is the RFX Plus row is plugged into a John Deere weight pin, the John Deere system uh, that you get from your John Deere dealer. Plugs into the MyFX computer that goes to the RFX Plus. Um, it's telling the RFX Plus uh, how much down pressure to put on. It goes to, uh, the, I have a uh, another Dawn app that's on the iPad and the cab. I'm controlling it blue, using Bluetooth, telling this row unit what to do. I have this set up, uh, the 40 foot planter set up with six sections. Um, I have the option to go to individual row. Uh, we felt at the beginning of this year that six sections would be enough. Uh, we kind of wanted to see what that would do in the field, if we could see a difference between six sections and then ultimately hopefully next year we go to individual row control. Um, I'm not positive yet that individual row control, if money uh, didn't matter, then yeah, we'd have individual row control from the beginning and not worry about it. Uh, we've got the option we can do that. We've got plenty of hydraulics to be able to do that. Uh, but this year we set it up with the six different sections. So I've got row number two is controlling and telling row two and also row one and row three what to do. Um, and it goes through that through the rest of the planter with six different sections. And I control from the cab how much down pressure I want. Um, it was an interesting experience using the Dawn app. And I had another iPad set up next to it so I could also use the Precision app, the Field View app, to see what the two were telling me. Um, and actually there's a lot more difference than I thought there would be. One would be green, one would be red. Um, so that was an interesting, I'm kind of wanting to look more into that and see which one was right, I guess. So we went the Dawn route. Uh, first of all, because I'm a Dawn dealer, um, have been a Dawn dealer for two or three years. So we had that availability. We also looked at the Precision Delta Four system um, and had that option. We decided to go the Dawn route. Um, just because I like the uh, the RFX, it's got uh, the system built into it, so when I'm going through the field, it can absorb the bumps a little bit easier. Um, I don't know what's right, what's wrong, but we had really good luck with the Dawn unit, and price was a big factor in it. I put this system together, the six sections, and I think I was at uh, around 600, 650 per row, whereas the precision we priced out was around 1200 per row, but it was individual row control, um, which was an advantage to that system. Next year, I think we're going to go to the individual row control, like I had mentioned. And I think we're going to be, the numbers I got were around 900, 1,000 a row. Um, so price was a, one of the issues, one of the reasons why we went to the Dawn system um, and had really good luck with it this year. We had a great stand of corn this year. And last year, even manually controlling it, we had a really good stand. 
Um, it's just my fingers started to get cramped, and I don't like my hand up there the whole time. I need to be on the phone or doing something else. Uh, so that's the uh, the hydraulic down pressure that we have on there. Uh, the day we got this plane in the shop, it was actually my job and kind of um, something my playtime, I guess, was tearing the compressor and all the airlines, the, the airlines, all the airbags off the planer. So this planer set up. I don't have any more air compressor. There's no airlines. There's no airbags that leak or get holes in them. Uh, if I did have a, a hydraulic fitting leak, I did have one this year that I just didn't get tightened, and all I do is go back and finger tighten it and stop leaking. Uh, they use all O-ring seals, so really I thought I would have more issues with the amount of hydraulics I have on this that uh, I would have more leaking issues. The nice thing is with the hydraulics, if it does leak, it's easy to find. It's going to puddle right there, but we just didn't have near the issues we used to have with the airs, uh, the pneumatic system.